What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and it is week nine of our Cordyceps breeding project. So it was about seven or eight days from inoculation until full colonization and nine weeks from a single ascospore. Um, so we mated those ascospores and now we ran 10 different phenotypes out of all the single ascospore isolates that we created and now we're about to induce them into fruiting so they've fully colonized the rice substrate um, i'm going to be placing them in my the same um, grow tent that i do my lion's mane so it's going to be using the same t5 bulbs and about 64 degrees um, give or take a couple degrees and 90% relative humidity um, that goes through different swings throughout the day. So I'm really excited. I cleared out a shelf and I'll be moving um, two trays and about 12 or 13 different jars that I'm test running. And I'll keep an eye on those and I'll show you um, kind of how I set it up. And if you have any you know, um, feedback about either lighting or different substrate recipes, uh, comment below. Um, I'm excited to finally get into fruiting. Um, so it's been nine weeks of a lot of plate work, uh, figuring out the liquid cultures, and now we're moving into pinning. All right. All right, guys. So here's the first round of cordyceps going into my fruiting chamber. You can see there's some bunch of lion's mane. And we've got some nicely colonized jars. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, so I've got um, my T5 lights here. So those are going to be your standard T5 blue spectrum um, fluorescent bulbs. And it's about um, 63 degrees Fahrenheit in here, nice and cool. You can see I got some nice lion's mane that's fruiting. So um, I'm using the same exact parameters that I always use. And I'm gonna, you know, I cleared off this nice shelf up here and I've got my uh, fresh air exchange coming in um, right here. And this is my humidifier detector and some more lion's mane that's about to fruit. So I've got my humidity at about 92 right now, and I'm really excited to put these, all these different phenotypes. You can see these are all the different crosses and um, TSB and honey liquid cultures. And I'm gonna set up um, some kind of camera to monitor the growth over the next few weeks. Um, I'm really excited. So. One of the key things about cordyceps is when you transition it into light, it should turn orange within you know 24 to 48 hours. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And also um, those trays that I had on my cart, um, as I was bringing in those trays, I found some contamination. So I kind of want to talk about that. Um, I am glad I caught it before it got in here. Um, but yeah, so this is the setup comment below if you have any suggestions on what we could do um, to you know increase light or kind of yields this is all very new so I'm just using a standard t5 bulb and this is um, our cordyceps first 10 phenotypes on rice nine weeks from asco spores all right I'll head back to the lab okay guys so I don't know if you can see but you can look here closely. There's a sign of some trichoderma that's forming again. Um, I just caught it pretty early. You can see some right there on the surface of the substrate. So this is the second time that this has happened to um, the tubs. And my theory is that there's some kind of air displacement when I'm moving them. So when I push down on the lid, you can see that the tub expands and contracts. 
fans and contracts. So the last time that I moved these containers from the hood to my incubation area, I must have created a vacuum and sucked in spores. So that's one thing I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is be cognizant when you're handling your containers or your grow bags. If there's any kind of air exchange that's not filtered, it's going to result in some contamination like that and on the surface. So um, a couple options would be switch to a Pyrex dish um, that you know you can you can get glass dishes that don't contract and convex like this, and that's going to mitigate any kind of um, air displacement, which leads to contamination. Another option is to get a tote with a rubber gasket, or to just not move um, move around your substrates. All right. All right, guys. So that's our week nine updates. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you don't want to miss any more mycology videos like this um, share our content if you think anyone else will find it useful and stay tuned i'll be posting updates on those cordyceps fruiting um, i'm super excited it's been a long journey and we're finally um, keeping our fingers crossed we'll get some fruits all right guys much love